What's good, everybody? Hey, welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling and Cooking with Me, A.B. Now, you guys read the title, you know that I'm making the Cajun Chicken and Shrimp Fettuccine, and guess what, y'all? We're gonna do it in the crock pot. No need to over talk it, we finna get right into this video. All right, as you can see, not a whole lot of ingredients, so listen, we're gonna go, go ahead and go right over them. I'm gonna start off by showing you guys this right here. Look, all four of these seasonings right here, these are in quarter teaspoons. You got a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and then you got a quarter teaspoon of uh, pepper. You guys can see it right there. Let me get it a little closer so you can see. Then we got paprika. Now look, this looks like a lot of paprika. Really we wanna put some color inside of this. You know what, I'm not gonna use all of it. I'm gonna sprinkle it on, and then we are gonna look at it. You know, and then we can determine you know, what we wanna do if we wanna add some later. We got garlic powder and dried oregano. We got a cup of Parmesan shredded cheese right here. This right here is parsley that I'm gonna cut up. I took it out so it can dry out a little bit. You know, I like it just to be just a little bit on the dry where it's not so wet. I'm gonna go ahead and just mince that down. And then for the fettuccine, this is the brand that I'm using right here. This is one pound. So you guys can see, you guys know what uh, fettuccine look like. You get a chance to see anyway. And then also we just gonna cook this just the way the instructions say. That's, that's the only thing we're gonna do. We're gonna follow the instructions, make it, and then you know have it ready. Shrimp. This right here is extra large shrimp. I went ahead and used it all, because listen, it's a chicken and shrimp fettuccine. So you got that there. These have already been peeled. Let me see. They've already been peeled and deveined, as you can see. And then I went ahead and just removed the tail. Now, we got one cup of chicken stock. We got some kosher salt. Then we got two cups, which is one pint of heavy whipping cream. And this right here, we're gonna do it all right here in my crock pot. Super easy, let's get started. Okay, getting ready to get started, look. Real simple, all of our ingredients as far as our seasonings go, we're gonna put that inside of here, but we're gonna start with the chicken broth. Now, one of the things that you should love about, you know, crock pot videos and recipes is that you can just put it all in there and they just like dump and goes. This one is going to be a little differently, you know, a little different because we're going to have to cook our noodles and we're going to do it separately. Now, remember I said we're just going to add just a little bit. You know what I mean? This is for the little color. I held some back. We'll find out. If we like the color at the end, we'll add, we won't add no more. And if we think it needs a little bit more tint to it, then we'll add some more to it. Now, you just want to go ahead and just stir it up. I gotta tell you this right now off the back though, you can smell it. Hey, this combination of seasonings right here, this does it folks. It's gonna make you almost wanna just like, you know, hurry and put your meat in here so you can get yourself, you know, something stewing. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and we're gonna put our chicken breast inside of this. And then we're gonna make sure, I wanna show you one thing right now. Let me do it this way. As you can see, it's not a whole lot. Cause remember we only used a cup. So when we put the, uh, the breast inside, we're gonna put it down on one side, move it around, then we're gonna flip it over just to make sure that they got that seasoning on both sides. Now, what I was showing you was, you can see it only covers it so much. So what we wanna do is, once we got it coated on that side, then we're just gonna flip it over, move it around. This way we can ensure that we got coating on both ends, you know, on both sides of it. Okay, and then the one ingredient that you guys didn't see, which I apologize, here it is right here. This is one small onion dice. I put this in the refrigerator and left that in there, you know, just trying to get everything prepared. But you just wanna go ahead and add this also. Now we'll just move these around, put these on top. Believe me, it's gonna cook down and then it's gonna be nice. Now, listen, we are gonna cook this on high. We are gonna do it for three and a half hours. Now, if we cook it on low, we're gonna do it for six hours. Hey, either or, it doesn't make a difference, but for me, after smelling this, I know I'm gonna get it on high because it's gonna be tonight's dinner. Now, just go ahead and get your top, put it on, and then it's time to set the timer. Now, it's up to you whether you're going low or you're going high, but whenever you're done, this is what it looks like right here. Now, you wanna go ahead and go to your refrigerator, get yourself your, uh, your heavy whipping cream, and add your two cups or one pipe, same thing, you know, to it. Then you wanna get yourself two, listen, two forks, and then it's shred time. Now you're gonna get your, you know, get your shred on. Now, you can shred it to whatever size shred you like. You know, some people like it to have, you know, more of a chunky flavor, uh, taste to it, texture, that's up to them. Now, 
Since we're done with our uh, pasta, go ahead and add your pasta after you're done shredding. Super easy. Now you can see the liquid in there is, you know, still really like liquefied, but trust me, after you cook it and it cools, it thickens right up. Now go ahead and add your Parmesan cheese to it, just as you saw right there. That should have been your one cup. And you just want to like stir it around. I'm, you know, kind of like folding it in. I don't want to like beat my noodles up, you know. And don't forget, we're getting ready to go back and cook, you know, cook a little while longer. So now I'll go ahead and get my shrimp. I add my shrimp to it. You just want to make sure you got shrimp throughout. And then I add the, you know, the last little bit. I should have said this, listen, always add whatever you add and just in increments. You know, I tried to do half. That was a little bit more than half, but you saw how I did it. Now you want to go ahead and add, you know, the Parmesan cheese on top. And then that's uh, that paprika. I actually use smoked paprika. I think if you want to stay true to like the Italian, you know, type dish, you just want to use regular paprika. But I like that smoked paprika. And then right there, you saw me hitting it with that little garnish. Now, after finish cooking it for another 50 minutes, and I know some of you guys are going to say that's a long time for the shrimp to be in there, but using a crock pot with that pasta right there, listen, it's perfect. 50 minutes. After you're done with that first initial uh, cook, we go back just for another 50 minutes. That way those uh, shrimp will absorb that uh, flavor. And there you have it, folks. Boom. So tell me what you guys think about this one here. This right here is like super easy. It's a classic. Everybody that loves pasta, you gotta love this. How can you not love having chicken and shrimp and then sprinkle with that uh, Parmesan cheese? Hey, so with that being said, let me know down in the comment section below, are these the type of meals that you guys like to see? You know what, you wanna see more crock pot videos or whatever it is, let me know down below. Now. Listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know how I'm getting ready to end this one, folks. I'm out of here. Peace.